Kumusta kayo? Nandito na tayo sa ating week 5 na may pamagat na problem solving involving decimal numbers. In learning task number 1, the chart shows a list of activities and the approximate amount of energy required for the average adult. Answer the given questions in your notebook. Para sa ating chart, ito ang activities. Ito naman sa kabila ang calorie per minute. Para sa unang tanong, how many calories are used? by an adult who plays volleyball for 15 minutes. Ang tinatanong ay volleyball. At ang calorie per minute sa volleyball is 2.5. Ang itinatanong, how many calories used for 15 minutes? So, ang gawin lang natin, 2.5, ito yung calorie per minute, Multiply mo lang ang 15 minutes. Para sa first partial product, kaya ang sagot, i-plus mo ang second partial product na i-multiply sa 1, at ang magiging sagot mo, pag i mo ang first partial at second partial product, ay 375. Ang multiplikan ay 1 decimal place at ang multiplier ay 0. 1 plus 0 equals 1 decimal place kaya ang decimal point ay ilalagay natin sa pagitan ng 7 and 5. So para sa tanong na how many calories are used by an adult who plays volleyball for 15 minutes, the answer is 37.5 minutes. For learning task number 2, ang direction, solve the given problems, write your answer in your notebook. Example, ito yung problem number 1. How many centavos are there in 125 pesos and 75 centavos? Ito naman ang 4 steps in solving word problems. Step 1, understand. Step 2, plan. Step 3, solve. And step 4, check. What is asked in the problem? The total number of centavos in 125 pesos and 75 centavos. Given packs, 125 pesos and 75 centavos. And 1 peso equals 100 centavos. Operation to be used, multiplication, number sentence, 125 pesos and 75 centavos times 100 equals N. For solution, 125.75 times 100, alam naman natin, pag nagmumultiply ng 100, sulat lang ang multiplikan, then i-move ang decimal point ng dalawang beses papuntang kanan. Kaya ang sagot natin, there are 12,575 centavos in 125 pesos and 75 centavos. Para ma-check natin ang sagot kung tama, isulat muli natin ang equation, 125.75 times 100 equals 12,575. Nag-multiply tayo, i-divide naman natin. Ang 12,575 divided by 100. The quotient is 125.75. Pareho ng multiplikan na 125.75. Ibig sabihin, tama yung ating sagot. Learning task number 3. 
Solving word problems involving multiplication of decimal and mixed decimal numbers with or without regrouping. Use the first step in solving word problems. Do this in your notebook. Example, this is problem number 3 in your module. Arthur earns 1,350 pesos a day. He sets aside 0.10 of this for savings. How much does he save in a month? And for step in solving word problems, step 1, understand. Step 2, plan. Step 3, solve. Step 4, check. What is asked? The amount of money Arthur saved in a month. Given tax, 1,350 pesos a day and 0 0.10. Operation to be used, multiplication, number sentence, 1,350 times 0 0.10 equals N. Para sa solution, 1,350 times 0 0.10 Multiply natin ang 0 Yan ang first partial product Multiply ang 1 Second partial product I Multiply ang another 0 That is third partial product Then let us add Para sa decimal point Ang multiplikan ay 0 decimal place, ang multiplier ay 2 decimal places, at ang ating product ay 2 decimal places. Kaya ang decimal point, bilang 10 ng dalawa mula, kali mula kanan, puntang kaliwa. So, so ang sagot natin, 135 pesos, that is amount of money Arthur saved in a month. For checking, yan yung ating solution kanina. Nag-multiply tayo. Ngayon naman, i-divide natin ang product divided by multiplier na 0.10 ang magiging quotient ay 1,350. 1,350 pareho ng multiplikan natin kanina. Madali lang palang mag-solve ng word problem using four step in solving word problems. For learning task number four, create your own problem using the following data. Solve your problems in your notebook. Example, 265 pesos and 25 centavos per day earnings in a month. Sa pag-create ng inyong sariling problem, dapat ang mga given data ay makikita rin sa loob ng inyong nagawang word problem. Kina natin ang aking nagawa. Friends works in a factory. He earns 256 pesos and 25 centavos per day. How much did he earn in a month? Tingnan natin ang given. Nandiyan. Earnings in a month, nandiyan din. Let us solve. 256.25 times 30. Multiply natin ng 0. Yan ang ating first partial product. Multiply ang 3. Ang ating second partial product. Pagsamay ng first and second partial product. I-add. Ang multiplikan ay 2 decimal places. Ang multiplier ay 0. So, ang ating product dapat 2 decimal places. So, ang sagot natin, 
7,687 pesos and 50 centavos. Maraming salamat. Naway may natutunan muli kayo sa ating aralin. Don't forget to subscribe.